Oh, we're back at North Park School for Innovation for another hop episode. Wait, hey, hey, there's Mary the Monarch. Mary, why are you so excited? It's Gucci, Kalos Estudiantes de North Park. It's Don Creando Un Jardín Polinizador. Wow, he sure is excited about this pollinator project. School for Innovation's Future Pollinator Garden. We're really, really excited about the developments here because we're creating a habitat for Mary the Monarch and all of her insect friends. How sweet it is to be loved by you. We will keep on pollinating for you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Right, Mary? Let's find out more about the stages that we've done so far. I can take it from here. First, our awesome custodians, like Mr. Kutsky, collected a lot of cardboard for us. This is used to stop the grass from growing in the spring so we can grow the native flowers that the native pollinators need. Next, our after-school green team removed all the tape from the boxes. We don't need any more plastic in our environment. Then, the after-school green team put the boxes over the grass so native flowers can grow. No more lawn mowing. Then we use our nutrient-rich compost that we get from our biodigester to start building healthy soil for our pollinator garden. Our last hop episode was all about this amazing earth-friendly machine. The compost will sure help our pollinator plants grow. It also helped hold down the cardboard. Students worked so hard to remove any plastic from the future pollinator habitat. Sometimes plastic accidentally enters the biodigester from our breakfast and lunch programs. We really want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. We worked hard to make our future pollinator garden a clean one. Next, we added and mixed a lot of soil to the compost. It was fun creating nutrient-rich soil for our future pollinator plants. In order to keep all the earth material in the future pollinator garden in place, a raised bed needed to be built. Miss Angie was so kind in helping us pick the materials up, and Mr. Georgie helped unload the materials. The hot team got to work on digging, leveling, and measuring. We got to work on cutting the wood timbers. We used wood timbers because it is a renewable resource. We love trees for so many reasons. We got to work on drilling holes in the wood timbers. Then we got busy pounding rebar to the holes to keep the wood timbers together. Squirmy the Wormy and Mary the Monarch make a good team. Now, with the Pollinator Garden's raised bed in place, students and staff were able to add even more soil. Finally, the big day arrived when Mr. West from Blooming Heights Edible Schoolyard did a presentation on the importance of pollinator gardens to our third grade students in the STEM lab. We were so excited. He even gave each of us a seed package of pollinator flowers. Mr. West told us about the importance of planting native pollinator flowers. He explained that native flowers would attract native pollinators. One important plant for the monarch butterflies that we learned about in STEM class is the milkweed plant. Outside, Mr. West gave everyone another pack of native seeds to plant in the pollinator garden. Each student was assigned a special planting area. Students got to disperse their seeds just like nature does. In STEM class, students learned about seed dispersal, too. Seeds can be carried by animals, by water, and by the wind. It was cold and windy on the day that the students dispersed the native pollinator seeds. Students learned that the seeds being planted will become perennial flowers. Perennial plants will all grow back each year and produce more seeds. Just like our hot friends, nature likes sustainability, too. Mary the Monarch, we learned so much about you throughout this entire pollinator project that we took on. We learned about your migration to Mexico. We learned about the incredible metamorphosis that you go through. 
and our students at Park Park made some fantastic statements of why and how we should protect you and all the pollinator species. And in the end, when we protect friends like you, Mary, fragile and vulnerable friends, we end up protecting all living organisms, even ourselves. If you want to learn more about helping monarch butterflies and the importance of different types of gardens, like pollinator gardens, check out the Hop episode shown above. Keep on helping our planet. You can be